Welcome back to the 2013 Media Day Live Player Chats. I'm Sarah Heck, joined by Earl Watson. How you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Good. How has your summer been going? I don't know what that loud sound was, but that was kind of crazy. That's that's the young guys ready to make a move. Oh, you know, for explosion really, into okay. the season. Okay, I'm glad yeah. that you had an explanation. I really yeah. appreciate that. Not scaring everybody. So, uh, <laughs> tell us about your summer, your off season. Of course, a big move for for you coming up here to Portland. Summer's been great. I think for me, going into my 13th season, the off season more or less is. I've been doing a lot of Pilates, a lot of yoga, a lot of Bikram yoga, um, training smarter, eating smarter, at the same time building for longevity through a long year. Mm -hmm. And then, have you been here in Portland? Have you been, uh, where, where is it that you live in the off season? I've been a little bit of everywhere, but uh, mainly Los Angeles and uh -huh. Kansas City, yeah. and you know, traveling throughout the summer, just building and you know, taking trips and, you know, just enjoying life at the same time being focused on basketball. Mm -hmm. Did you come back here for the voluntary workouts to work with some of the younger guys? Um, I came back here early, mm -hmm. you know, so we worked out and it was great to be a part of it. But um, summer is just summer. Mm -hmm. You know, the season is different and, you know, the focus is all going into now and to be together as a team officially. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is a big day to, to take one step forward. Mm -hmm. And as far, how does that work as far as, you know, you're of course, a, you're about, you've been on different teams. When you have such a changeover like we did with this summer with a lot of new guys coming in, how does that work in, in really kind of developing and getting a feel for each other? I'm a big believer on every day making a blank canvas. And I think for this team, we now have a blank canvas going into the season. Mm -hmm. And it's up to us to create it or paint it whatever way we want to. Mm -hmm. So a positive, all positive attitude, you know, create our own masterpiece. And by the end of the all-star break, we should be one of the best teams in the NBA mm -hmm. as far as winning record. I think that a lot of people are really excited to hear that. <laughs> no, we, ha we have no choice. I think as a young team, that's how we have to progress. We can't expect it to happen overnight, but it can happen through longevity and consistency. Mm -hmm. One of the things that Terry Stotts and a lot of other guys have talked about is defense being a real big key to that. Um, can you talk about the, the importance of defense and what you bring defensively to the I've, floor? I've been very fortunate to come into the league with Gary Payton, mm -hmm. and I always looked up to him. I love defense. Uh, I play defense my entire life. And more than anything, accountability and, you know, being accountable defensively. And with us, it's more or less making that third and fourth rotation because when you play the top teams, you know, you're going to have to go to three or four rotations to stop them from scoring. Mm -hmm. The OK teams, one or two rotations, we can get out and we'll stop them. But we want to be the one of the best teams in the NBA by the end of the season. So we have to, you know, prepare like it today. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that being a good team is having depth. And that's one of the things that we really added in this offseason. We have a question here in the chat. Let me uh, see if I can pull up. This is Blazer Fanatic 7 who says, uh, how much will the Blazers bench impact their ability to win this year? I think it's a major impact in the NBA. I think you're seeing it all over the NBA within the last five or six seasons, maybe 10 seasons. Um, I think we kind of started that trend when I was in Memphis having a strong bench. And that kind of got us through the playoffs, especially as a young team. And um, I think it's important. It's kind of like the anchor where we kind of prepare to start a father, come back in and close it. Mm -hmm. I feel like this question now, people are starting to get frustrated with it because they're hearing it more throughout the day, but it's nice to get perspective of each person. In the last two years, the Trailblazers haven't made the playoffs. But now, this year, a lot of people, you know, national media, power rankings, all that kind of stuff, it's expected. Is that something that going into a season knowing that, that, that it's kind of, I mean, is it playoffs or bust? Is that what it is? Um, expectations are great. Mm -hmm. I think uh, responsibility and being accountable and accepting the pressure is amazing. But more importantly, we want to win in the playoffs. We just don't want to make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful what words we choose. We just talk about making the playoffs. That's exactly what we would do is just make the playoffs. So let's get into the playoffs and let's win. But let's work today and build up into that. You know, everyone wants to go to college and graduate from college, but you still have to go to grade school, middle school, high school. Mm -hmm. So we have to take that evolution as a team. Can you talk about your veteran role on the team and what you uh, see yourself doing this year? Um, who knows? You know, a little bit of everything. Uh, main thing, nurturing at the same time. Uh, I think knowledge and experience. And, you know, I can relate to the young guys still. And mm -hmm. at the same time, I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of great legendary coaches. So I've been around a lot of, a lot of great organizations and just giving back everything that I have and then putting my own twist on who I am and kind of helping this team come within its own and just mainly explaining as young, as young players in the NBA, you come into the NBA and you want to make a name for yourself. But at the same time, it only happens through how many games your team win and mm -hmm. if you really are part of winning organization. So that's most important is winning. Mm -hmm. but you're still going to be fighting for minutes, of course, right? But oh, that's the competitive nature. That's the competitive nature of <laughs> basketball, you know? <laughs> yeah, perfect. So being in Portland now for a little bit, um, what have you learned about the Portland area? Uh, I'm fortunate enough to you know, play for the Sonics and be in Seattle for almost five seasons, so I'm, I'm happy to be back in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, coming to play here in college when I went to UCLA, Oregon State, Oregon, so I get the best of both worlds to cheer for me now when they used to boo me. So, you know, it's amazing to be accepted, and at the same time, um, I love the restaurants. Like, 
You know, that's just me. Yeah. I think I'm older in life now. Before, I, didn't, I would not care. But as a veteran, it's the restaurants because I cannot cook. So <laughs> no cooking for me. Guarantee that. And then, of course, the fan base, too, right? Fan base is here. amazing. That's why I get the best of both worlds. I get the Oregon, you know, state fans and the Oregon Ducks and all that fan base just to cheer for this, this team in the state of Oregon. It's amazing. And mm -hmm. the Pacific Northwest is, is a unique place. There's no place like it. Um, it's a lot of positives, and uh, we want to continue to be that positive with the Trailblazers and embrace our fan base. Mm -hmm. What was the major factor when you decided to come here? Uh, major factor, tradition. Uh, I grew up a big fan of Terry Porter. You know, I used to love Terry Porter. You're TP. my people. He's my yeah. favorite Blazer. Like, yeah. the reason that I'm a Blazer fan is Terry Porter. TP was, when I was, was six was, years old. was really good. I love to play. He, like, controlled both ends of the court. Mm -hmm. And uh, defensively, he was tough, and his consistency was amazing. And, you know, Jerome Kersey, Duckworth, the entire team, Clyde, who didn't like Clyde. So just to be here, and, you know, UCLA, Bill Walton, you know, mm -hmm. who he loves, he talks about Portland a lot. So just to be a part of that legacy and be a part of that, this organization to me, it's like I'm still a, a kid living a dream. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a dream for me. Uh, love to hear it. You're totally my people. We're kidding. Oh, thanks. Just so you know. <laughs> thanks for joining us, guys. Thank for TV TV, I'm Sarah Hecht with Earl Watson.